Him down and pinch. But I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins. I can't say these cause my last name ain't Kent. Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent. Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish. Better watch your soul, cause you know they trying to get it. Yeah, yeah. I learned my right from wrong on a song. I let my heart bleed on my sleeve through microphones. I'm trying to write my wrongs by writing out my wrongs. Ran through a check, cause it's hard to live off bread alone. So if you see me slipping, yeah, yeah, let me know. Cause it ain't the end of times yet. I know, but it's getting close. Yeah, I need my space to breathe. That's why I be going ghost. I ain't trying to stay up on that wide road. Cause I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. All right, what's nah, up, people? Nah, nah, so, hope you guys enjoy that. My name is Trent Still, aka Father Diff. We're gonna try some things a little bit different. Um, we're gonna be very chill and calm. This video, very relaxed um, and easy going. Take your time, chill. You ain't going nowhere. So I want to talk to you guys about a film emulation plugin that I use to edit this video. If you notice that at the beginning of this video, you saw my name followed by Kodak Portra 400, followed by Dehancer. So Dehancer is a plugin that you can use for DaVinci, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, pretty much any video editing software they have a plugin for, and they have over 60 something film stocks, even motion picture film stocks that you can put in on your video content. I mean, it will emulate that film stock. And that's pretty cool. And it also has the, uh, the ability to add film grain, bloom, halation. And um, yeah, so they send it to me. They asked me if I would test it out. And I was like, you know what, I'll do it. Um, However, you know, can I be honest? And it was like, yeah, I was like, you can say whatever you want, as long as you, you know, just talk about it. And I was a little hesitant going into it because I didn't know what it was. I had never heard of them. I looked them up and they, they seemed pretty legit and I tried it. And I also had my camera with me that day while I was with, um, at the winery. And I fortunately had Kodak Portrait 400 film stock inside of that point and shoot camera so after i got the pictures developed i put them into the program because i was already editing the, the content and i put the picture side by side the video and i was like damn i did not expect for that to look like that and this film emulation program is pretty spot on and the last video that i did last week I shot Cine Steel 800T. They also have a film emulation for that one. So I did that one the same way. Now, if you go back and look at that, you can see how the Cine Steel matches the photography on that one as well. I just didn't say anything because I was waiting for stuff to get finished with this. However, I was very impressed by this plugin. And you know, right off the back, I was like, why would I use this? You know, what's the point when I can just make this preset myself for these videos that I do? And I, and I thought about it, I was like, I guess number one would be time because I don't have time to sit there. You know, it saves me time editing when I can just apply a preset. And then the other thing is convenience. I don't have to sit there and think too long about it. I, I, it's more so about just clicking and boom, I can see what that looks like. And then I love film. I'm actually considering doing a film video like not a film emulation video i mean like an actual i shot this video on film and i would love to do that and compare it to this but we're gonna have to wait until i can find a camera that uh takes film that's not gonna be expensive so store for another day but i'm not gonna lie i felt a little guilty using um 
presets or plugins because it kind of felt like I was cheating. But then I had to realize it's not cheating, it's using a resource. And, you know, there are a lot of successful people who take advantage of that resource and time. You know, why complicate things when they can be a lot simpler? So this is another way of doing that. And I think it looks damn good compared to the actual film stock. <laughs> when you actually look at it, I, I was impressed and I did not think it was going to look like that. I thought it was going to be some kind of eh, close enough type deal. But no, this actually looked like it. I was really, really impressed. And honestly, the program is easy to use. I mean, you just find the clip you want, literally drag in the plugin, double click it or whatever, however you pull up your um, plugins inside that program and you go down the list of film stocks that they have. And that's it. And it gives you the ability to adjust the exposure inside of that plugin, you know, the grain, the halation, the highlights, shadows, all this and that. So you can do it in there inside the plugin or you can do it inside the actual video clip. But to each zone, it's pretty simple. And that was another thing I liked about it. It, was, it wasn't a confusing thing of having the dials or having too much complicated stuff like i said it was really simple to use and honestly i kind of go back and forth about how much i would use this plugin because i really like it i like to shoot film and it kind of just made sense to test this out and i'm glad i did and I would really recommend this to anybody who enjoys the film look and the aesthetic of film. I'm pretty sure I'll be using this again. I have a project that's coming up that I was going to try to shoot on film. But again, I gotta buy the camera. I have to buy the rolls of film and I would have to send it off to get developed. It's a lot of time and money that would have to go into that versus with if I shoot it on digital and just use this plugin it's a lot more relaxed like I don't have to worry about trying to find light sources or you know changing things right there when I can just literally get this camera set everything up change the settings on the camera and I'm good to go it's just more convenient and that's not saying I won't shoot it with film but I'm, I'm really contemplating on using real film or using this and I, it's tough because they have Kodak movie film stocks like Kodak Vision 3 200t 250d uh 500t and i think it's 50d it's definitely a contender for me to avoid stress because i'll be stressing myself out over the dumbest stuff but yeah i really like dehancer and i was honestly impressed by this plugin and that's weird to me i never thought i'd be using a plugin because i always thought i'd be making these presets myself but i gotta learn somewhere but anyway, like I said, it's going to be a chill vlog, but I do, as promised, like I said in the last video, have something for my subscribers and people who just watch my channel. So check this out. Um, they asked me to do the review and they are offering a promo code to my subscribers and the people who just so happen to click this video. Thank you for clicking this video. All right really do appreciate it um you get 10 percent off with this promo code father diff so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the website you're gonna go ahead and click on it you know click download whatever and when you come to the spot where you purchase it you're gonna put in this promo code so be sure to use promo code father diff get you 10 percent off and i also get a little bit of commission off of that so that helps me i really do appreciate it if you guys would do that um, they have several different packages on the website. They have the monthly subscription. They have the yearly subscription, or you can just buy it flat out and never have to pay for it again. So go look at your options, see what you want. I would recommend the pro version because it includes everything, you know, instead of just piece by piece. The film emulation is really what I would probably only use. I don't really care for the halation, but stuff like that, the film grain, because the film stock, the film emulation program has like all of that if needed. But anyway. Yeah, man, I was, I never thought I'd say they'd be using a plugin, but here we are, 2023, Trent still is using a plugin to edit his videos or to help edit his videos. This is crazy, but no, for real, this was awesome. Also, one last thing, you can edit pictures with this too. 
So they have this for Lightroom, Photoshop, Capture One, whatever you want to edit your pictures with. They have this for that also. So it's not just for videos. You can make your pictures look like film as well. And they have an app. They have an app. You should check out the app. But yeah, really appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video at the beginning. Um, my love for film is really, really growing. And yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. What is your go-to style of editing your content? Do you use plugins? Do you feel like plugins are a waste of time? Do you feel like it's unauthentic? Do you feel like it's really capitalizing on time and money if you're using plugins? You know, let's talk about it. Me personally, I'm gonna continue to use it because it's just so convenient and useful. So let's chop it up. Let me know how y'all feel about it. If you want it, there's a promo code, Father Diff. Be sure to use it. And I will see you guys next time.